Hello and welcome to my TEK 101 Lab 6 video in which I'm going to be demonstrating how to properly calibrate a hygrometer using common household items found in the kitchen. Uh, in front of me I have the supplies I'm going to need and in addition to that I've got a digital hygrometer that is adjustable as seen by this knob here and an analog one commonly found as an add-on with any humidor um, purchase. Some of them come mounted within the humidor. This one itself came with a little Velcro sticky that I can attach wherever I uh, am pleased to place it within the humidor itself. Now the difference between the two, it's easier to read obviously the digital hygrometer and with its adjustability if it loses its cal calibration I can adjust it accordingly. Um, with the analog one they, I mean, they're just aesthetically pleasing. I mean, the black plastic is not necessarily something that you'd see amongst uh, a, a nice cherry wood humidor and think that it fits. Now the gold plated analog, that's a nice touch, but that's unnecessary. What we want is proper humidification of the cigars that are contained within the humidor. Um, never forget that the investment is not the humidor itself, it is the cigars contained within. The humidor is just the means in which to keep your cigars healthy. Um, but anyways, on to the calibration. Now, most analog hygrometers are manufactured with a tolerance of plus or minus 4 to 5% or more of humidity within the range of 40 to 80%. Although humidity gauges are supposedly preset at the factory, it's not unusual to find the calibration off once you get the unit home and placed in your humidor. If you want to see how accurate your hygrometer is, there's a simple, easy-to-do method you can use with items found in your kitchen. All you need is table salt, sealed container, which I have the Ziploc baggie here for that, um, and either a plastic bottle cap. I'm using a small measuring cup. We don't want to disperse the salt too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a teaspoon of salt in the bottle cap and add a few drops of tap or distilled water to moisten it. Um, generally speaking, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use distilled water for seasoning or humidification purposes within your humidor just because of the minerals being removed from the water itself. But as for gauging the calibration of your hygrometer, tap water will do just fine. I wouldn't waste the uh, distilled water on just simple calibration. So we're just going to place a few drops to moisten the salt. And I'm finding that the reason why they want you to use a bottle cap is it's a little bit more concentrated so that the drops all wet themselves with a few drops. Anyhow, moving on. Carefully place the salt and your hygrometer into an airtight container. So in the Ziploc bag. Salt. We'll put both hygrometers into the Ziploc bag. and seal it off. Try not to get the moistened salt on your gauge. Check the unit to assure it's currently reading is somewhere in the 40 to 80 range. So right now in my digital, I've got a 50% relative humidity and on the analog, I've got approximately 58 relative humidity. Seal the container tightly, but don't try and remove any remaining air trapped inside. What we're going to want to do is have the humidity start filling the, um, the area within the container. And in order to do that, we need air inside the container for it to disperse into. Now wait for at least several hours until the environment has stabilized. This could take up to six hours. Do not open the container 
read the gauge's humidity percent level from outside the bag. This is why we're using a clear Ziploc or a clear Tupperware. Once at about six hours, your hygrometers should read exactly 75%. If it is not, note the deviation as being the amount your hygrometer is out of calibration. This is why I prefer my digital with my um, adjustable reading because I can adjust the reading to read precisely 75% and reset the calibration itself. If, for example, it reads 65%, the gauge is low 10% relative humidity. If it reads 80%, the gauge is at 5% 5 too high. Carefully remove the unit from the containing container bag, assuming your hygrometer has a calibrating screw on the back. Unfortunately, my analog does not. Uh, most better ones do. This is one of the gimmick throw-ins with most humidor purchases. Take a very small flathead screw and turn it slowly while watching the dial on the front. If your gauge was 10% low, turn the screwdriver so the, di the dial is set 10 percentage points higher than it was previously. Conversely, if your gauge was high by 5%, turn the screw the opposite direction to set the dial 5 percentage points lower. Now, and assuming we've sat here for six hours, um, right now my high digital hygrometers jumped up two percentage points. Um, your hygrometer should be properly calibrated once you've made your adjustments after the appropriate amount of time. This will help you maintain a healthier over and overall environment for your cigars. If the gauge does not appear to be moving, try blowing warm, moist air onto the back of it. One other thing you can do, which is also another way to test the unit, is by wrapping the hygrometer in warm, damp paper towel for about 30 minutes or until it reads about 80 to 90 percent plus or minus a few points. And that's this video.